Nick and Michael also get your details there. We've got another question coming in from Lachlan of Tarragindi. What's your question for Jim? Okay, Director General, I'm not going to ask you to uh, change uh, the legislation, but I am in curious into a contemporary world with uh, huge religious uh, diversification uh, in our schools, uh, increasing number of agnosticism and atheism, that we still take children out of the classroom, out of the learning environment where they have the resources, the access to the teacher uh, that they're used to, uh, to continue on with productive education when re uh, religious instruction is on ongoing in schools, usually for a very small uh, minority or a very small number of, of uh, religious outcomes. Okay, Lachlan, is there a question there? Well, that's the question. Why are we taking children out of their classroom uh, to when uh, other children are staying in the classroom to participate in non-curriculum activity? Okay. Okay, thanks, Lachlan. It's, it's a so, long-running issue, Jim. It, it, there is, and, and I, I get the passion um, from both perspectives, and, and I understand that completely. So, Lachlan, there's about 23% of students in state schools that are involved in religious instruction, and as, as you would know, the religious instruction is um, something that the parent has to designate in terms of a preference. So um, we've been working with a number of different uh, stakeholder groups to get uh, new documentation for school enrolment to make sure that um, parents get the opportunity um, to opt in. And so that documentation is being put in place now and, and most schools are using um, the, the, the new forms that go to parents to decide, for, for parents to be able to decide whether they'd like their student to participate or not. Uh, as you'd also know, um, for the, for the uh, vast majority of students who don't um, undertake religious instruction, then they're provided with instruction um, in other areas. And so uh, it's a school-based decision and, uh, and one that's instructed, I suppose, by parents requesting uh, the religious instruction. So, so uh, Jim, if a child sure. is not having the religious education, then they're supposed to be getting other instruction? And, and that's, the, that's the wording. Um, so it is other instruction. And so schools will make decisions about what that instruction uh, specifically is, but it'll depend on the number of students and, uh, uh, and, and how they want to manage that um, time. I know um, one little girl who's quite happy because she gets uh, 40 minutes of time on the iPad oh, really? at school. Okay, well, that's probably something you should talk to the principal about. I'm, quite, I'm fine with it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> she gets a bit of downtime. That's... Uh, Good for stressed little ones, That's I think, right. sometimes. Yeah. 17 past five on ABC Radio Brisbane. You're with Emma Griffiths. And talking education with all the questions you have to the Director General.